No. Oh, my name. <gasps> Everybody, and welcome to High Noon of Rune Terra. Ignore that spell. Be our big. Hi, Terra. Um, Hi, Tara. I'm no, Rana, that. that makes us all sound like we're all smoking drugs. Are you assuming that someone isn't already doing that? I'm assuming that I'm not already doing that. Uh, I see. <laughs> what? Do we still have the picture of Naria? I can't seem to find it. I can drag it off to that level. So, greetings everyone and welcome back to the Dark Tides of Runeterra. That is a lie you know up. <laughs> You're playing the high tides of Rune. Um... <laughs> In, insert pun here. <laughs> Hang on, I'll come back with High tides of noon era. That there we so go. Nice missed it on the room. Yeah, I'm, room I'm off to me. myself, honestly. <laughs> okay, have fun. Hello. Don't so, do it cheaply. Make sure it gets done properly. Yikes. Make sure to clean up after yourself. Uh, that too. Don't forget to get, you know, things and stuff. So, given that the whole situation at the moment in the main verse is there is a big important boss fight, and we don't want certain peeps to miss out. And given that Rebecca is doing GCSEs, she would be missing out on the fights if we did it. So instead, I've decided just to put together a quick one slash two shot. Set in an alternate verse. Give me a second beating chalk up, right? I'm doing that on the microphone. You tit. I can't help it. I have to come a... back from off myself just to call you that. There's a big bag of uh, <laughs> uh, dairy milk ch caramel nibbles next to me. You oh, know what it's caramel like with that. nibbles. Oh! Exactly. I'm about to kill myself. I don't have any of them right now. Um, you can't have that next to you and not just dig a hand into there every five seconds. Also, listen, I've made the entire story of this episode suicide. I'm sorry that I've just cancelled the entire first five minutes. Um, and you wonder why we said Star Guardian. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, a couple of, uh, one quick thing as well. Before I forget and before we get this whole thing started. Because mm -hmm. I believe it's time that we do a bit of a little promo thing. Promo? Given that, given that three episodes are out now of it. Well, listen here, brother! Um, sorry, not that kind of promo. Yes, uh, I'm assuming that you're talking about the one thing the um, yeah, okay. Hi, hello, greetings. Um, not only do we have the Devil Darlings and then also Dark Tides of Runeterra, there's now another game uh, set in the City of Mist universe that we created like, what, three years ago at this point? Um, called Sirens Through the Fog, which is a City of Mist uh, recorded play game where a group of chuckle fucks are just attempting to survive and solve mysteries. In this case, the mystery of a museum robbery. That's it for the promo. I didn't really plan a promo, so hi. We're professionals here. We know what we're doing. <laughs> it is professionals. We just get half of the episode cancelled by making horrible jokes. Um. It is over on its own channel at the moment, so check out Sirens Through the Fog on YouTube. With that said, in the world of Runeterra, as you've already somewhat discovered, there are different retellings, and different versions out there. We've already explored one before, when the party travelled to a little known uh, pocket called the Snowdown verse. This one is decidedly a lot more 
darker and definitely a lot more gothic with that should be in the goth line which apparently is going to be a thing that we're getting now as well but that's a side topic for another day as we turn our attention to a small little town in the middle of what seems to be a large dust bowl desert where the only way in and out is the dusty trails and one long winding train track and trust me when I say the train track is the last place you want to be entering and extremely the last place you want to be leaving given where it leads to this is the world of high noon and of course well, we're not allowed to mention blizzard employees jack <laughs> i can't help it i heard high <laughs> noon seven times and mr mccree who has had a name change that i've forgotten because it's shit <laughs> just keeps saying the quote in my hair <laughs> There's only so many times I can keep it high noon to myself. Let's, let's face it, they gave the character a new name, it's just Matt Mercer. The I can't take it seriously because he's literally got... Isn't it? Isn't he called it's, Colin it's... Cassidy? Yeah, yeah there's a wrestler with literally the same name. I'm never going to remember that. Col Col yeah, Cassidy. It's, it's, it... It's Cole, Cole Cassidy, Cassidy. Um, which is named, he, he's named after a legit Wild West character now. Well, Instead of Wild Spinassel. West characters should have a better name to begin with, um. They really don't. <laughs> they, they're they pretty bad names, all of them. One of them's called uh, Vermont, uh, one of them's called Texas Jack. And the reason he's called Texas Jack is because he's from Vermont, which is a city nowhere near Texas. That's incredible. Um, so. Yep. Can, can we also... Uh... J just, just gotta take a moment. I've completely forgotten where I was going with this. I'm sure I will interrupt in about ten seconds when I remember. So, as with all good Western tales, it all begins in a salon. The fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I've I've quite literally, I said it, and my brain instantly went hey. to miss an O in that. I know. Saloon. So, isn't, isn't it funny how, um, how how we can name it after people who murder people for a living, but if you misogynize a woman and happen to still be alive, gotta change the name. Murder is more forgivable over 230 years than slapping a woman's ass. Think about this. I'd, r I'd rather not. I'll slap your ass in a minute. Um, I'll think about that. So. Oh. In the saloon, not the salon. You're not all having your hair done. <laughs> You're all there. It's a quite a busy night, as it usually is here. When it's, of course, it happens before the sun sets anyway, but when the sun's setting, everyone rushes towards the nearest saloon to fill themselves up on good food. Yeah, slightly dubious drinks. And your hairstyle. That's in the corner, but we don't talk about <laughs> High Noon Gwen. <laughs> I feel like that's like the tailor next door. <laughs> yeah, that's next door. He's the saloon salon. <laughs> this is gonna be saloon. a thing. This is gonna be a thing that runs throughout this entire thing now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I slipped up with the words what? and I've messed things up. Uh, <laughs> but yes. Good food, dubious drinks, and any hot news or otherwise that could lead to the next payment. After all, it's the lawless west. No one cares how warm the body's coming, as long as it gets paid. Nobody cares how warm the bodies go out, either. Oh no, someone definitely cares about that, but uh, that's because they run a good strike ship on that train. <laughs> And yet, in the middle of, despite the fact that, if any of you were to look around, there is definitely quite the odd collection already here in this salon. One of them 
definitely stands out among the rest. Partly because of just how... How best to put this? How refinely dressed they are compared to the rest. Almost as if in the lawless West they're trying to err a sense of authority. Oh, I was going to say, the porcelain lady is fairly nicely dressed as well, but... Yeah, I, I, I'd assume it's like a different kind of thing, though. Like... Yeah, it's more of like a... Utilitarian looks nice. She can still move in it. <laughs> also, I, I just had to make sure I dragged across the right icon, though. Because my mouse cursor was over near something else at that time. And yeah, I was almost about to say, this is the sheriff, you see. <laughs> yes. I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, but, uh, this is indeed the figure you see. Oh, at the bar. Hi, diddly doodly, neighboroni. She's just sat there, occasionally just taking a quick drink, and then her eyes are just gazing among the bar patrons. Almost as if she's scouting out. Um, apparently, aura of vitality is setting off. Ignore that. I clicked it by accident. The porcelain lady is going to make her way through the crowd of drunkards towards the sheriff. And if any of them, like, stumble to get, like, in her way or, like, stumble into her... She's just going to, with excessive strength, mind you, like, push them off of her. But to her, she's doing it very lightly. Um, and, like, make her way through the crowd towards her. Um, she's it's just, just going to look really weird. She's just going to be keeping her eye on you as you do so. Well, she's going to notice that, like, very pale... Like, porcelain bone white skin with black cracks and, like, black ooze dripping out of it as she, like, walks over with an umbrella in her right hand. Of course it had to be one of these ones. Oh, what do you mean, one of these ones, dear? I just wanted to know why you were sitting here. Is a lady not allowed drink. to sit and have a drink every now and again? I guess so. I just personally don't drink. No, you automatons don't. Not an automaton, dear. But thank you. You certainly got the look of one. Hmm. Yes, well, the inside parts don't quite move like you think. And she's going to, like, pull away one of the pieces and, like, just, like, a bunch of black liquids just going to pour out on the ground. And she's just going to, like, put it back on. When you live in a place like this, as long as I have... Well, you get a little old. Some um, call it old, some just call it experienced. I wouldn't say I'm experienced. Maybe know my way around, but... I try to keep out of most conflicts. That still works for what I'm going for, but... Trust me, I'm going to need more than just you. And it's at that well, point when she's going to just take a very long... Oh, God. I was just going to say, like, just amongst all these probably, like, normal height people, it's just, like, Legit. 7 9. Oh, my God! <laughs> like, huge furred creature just hunched over on one of the tiny stools. I feel like this is the moment where Caitlin points her rifle at one and I point my umbrella at the other and go, how about that one? <laughs> Just drinking, uh, like, sipping from, like, a cup. Caitlin is actually going to take her rifle. Just aim it upwards. Towards the roof. She's going to let out a shot that will just ring out through the tavern. A few people pull the guns out before realizing who let the shot off. And then just quickly put the guns back before she notices. Um, there's just a yelp from the big dog. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. 
just went full George Takai right there. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really expect things to get so violent so quickly. <laughs> Josh, have you passed the Osiric curse off? <laughs> Jack, I didn't give you the Osiric pass. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Osiric doesn't give you the Osiric pass. Just knowing him gives you the Osiric pass. You have it, it, it's like uh, you have to enjoy him. Therefore, you've earned the right. It's, yeah, it's, it's a right of passage. The the very large character <laughs> looks over in the direction, like ears tilted down from under the hat. Uh, it's like what we. Just <laughs> Yeah, Santa would try to say something, but everyone kept interrupting him. Go on, Santa. No, no, you can go on. You, 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 you... I was just going to ask a question, but uh, something else was going on, so you go on ahead. Kind of turns and looks at Caitlin and is like, Must you be so loud? Yeah, I think she's the sheriff. She's allowed to be as loud as she wants to be. Loud gets attention. And attention is That's needed true. right now. She's just <clears throat> going to stand up. Clear her thoughts slightly. Now, if any of you dirtbags wants to be paid, I've got a job going. Bag? I take a lot of offense to that. Probably better looking than you. She's going you don't get these fine this. purple friends without murdering... I mean, um, traveling a couple of planes, dear. She's going to look over to this quite literal squid-faced person. Just raise an eyebrow. And then just look back to the rest. So let's say who's you got the spine to help out someone. Well, okay. the is there some sort of major threat going on? Something oh, combatable? Excuse me, I've got to curl up in the corner here. I can't <laughs> deal with this voice. <laughs> yeah. I can deal with the voice, but can we make calamari? Qu question, everyone's, everyone's focused on the lady, right? Yep. Uh, including the bartender, right? After he's more concerned with the hole that's now in the roof. Um, Galder is going to try to get his attention, not really paying attention to anything going on. This little like Gila monster kobold dressed in like a miner outfit is just like attempting to get the bartender's attention. Uh, they'll just look down to you. <laughs> She's just gonna look at you, just take a moment to process. Rooms are gonna be... You were asking about a room, weren't you? I speak the voices of the mind, and even I don't know what that edgy little thing is talking about. Calamari! <laughs> Oh, so he wants to know when I'm going to cook the squid. Oh, oh, you have so many calamari jokes. I've never heard that across the plains before. He is. Uh, You're uh, all so uh, unique. That's because there aren't oceans here, dear. Any of your kind have been sitting beneath the ground for ages. Oh, God, that reminds me. Calder is just going to reach over to, like, the nearest bottle, because that's what he was asking for more booze. Uh, He's just going to take the bottle, pop uh, off the stool. That does remind me, though, because they reveal that Dead Magic the Gathering, uh, D&D cards, the new ones, there is a uh, pirate illithid in it. There is, because there's a pirate illithid in Spelljammers. Yeah, I think the, I think it is him. I think yeah. we are getting a card of him. Either right way. I'm only after the best, most abled bodies to help me out with this. So if any of you <laughs> want to back out now, feel free to do so. If anyone that wants money, feel free to stay and listen in. Be stroking my ego a little bit. I, I do kind of enjoy that. 
the mouse figure in the yeah. corner is now sat a little closer. Stop <laughs> king at me like that. We don't do it that way. Why do I? We don't do yeah. it with your holes and your sticks and your <laughs> Why do I imagine Josh? It's a case of no one who yeah. saw them get up and move. It's quite a case of they looked. You're in the corner, just sat there. They looked away. They look. He just kind of moves, moved as if you just didn't move, move at all. Just like yeah, into existence. Just <laughs> even the can, chair can, itself has moved. <laughs> yeah. Can Galder see the uh, giant? What I'm going to assume is a lizard man with horns and shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, Galder just gonna look at look at it. <laughs> yeah. Gonna walk over to a table, start drinking the whole bottle. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of the patrons are gonna get up, and you will see quite a few of them start to leave. Just purely on the grounds that they've probably taken jobs from her before and lost people as a result. Because she... Eh, Y'all can, uh, 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 can, uh, can roll the insights. <laughs> Oh, because I don't care. <laughs> eh. This is something Gold is not good at. 16, 10, 11. <laughs> what did you roll, Pitu? Oh, Mary hasn't rolled yet. I'm still copying and pasting as you guys are slowly getting in, but I okay. can go ahead and roll an insight. Uh, that is a 11. Okay. And I am not rolling one because she is just choosing to trust her. Okay. Uh, some of the voices you hear from the patrons that are leaving, they are mentioning that she generally doesn't ask for help unless it's sort of an extremely dangerous. <laughs> to the point where they've quite literally got a term for this. It's called a suicide mission. <laughs> oh. Upon our success, there will be a little bit of fame involved for me, yes. Or what some people call a two out of five mission. Is in on if five people go, generally only two people come back. Name to make here, you know. Yes, there'll be money involved and I suppose money. reputation yes. will be upheld as well. That's better. Um, right. Do I do I know of this person that's speaking? Uh, you've been around long enough. Uh, you'd know her to be the sheriff of this place, essentially. But a sheriff I'm dragging of finger. Bilge Desert. <laughs> yep, she is the lone sheriff of the town. Despite the fact that uh, this place lies far outside the government's jurisdiction, uh, she is the only, air quotes, law enforcement here. So she basically passes out whatever passes for justice here. Okay. Generally at the end of her rifle, but yeah, when she can bring people in alive, she does. Quite literally, but if there's anyone that you're going to air quotes, trust in this place, it's a good idea to probably trust her. Uh, she won't make two ifs or buts about betraying someone. <coughs> but she's just going to look over who's left, including you lot. <laughs> so, let me get this right here. She's just going to take a rifle, and with the butt of it, so that no one gets the idea that she's going to shoot them in the face. Just go to a point to each of you. So we got a little small. Yeah. Okay, not so little. Or small. Yeah. Probably quite yeah, tall yeah. kind, actually. <laughs> Lizard person right there. So, Finally looks towards them. Masked figure right there. Uh, 
Seems to be a bit reptilian, but can't really tell too much behind that mask. This leaking automaton doll. A quite literal little squid. You, you taunt me with your words. There's a little bit more to me than squid. Mm -hmm. Well, you're certainly not a kid. The moon. Missions! I can confirm your eyes work! That's more than some of the people I've met, I mean, fought! We got one of them tall... ...giggle hounds over there. <laughs> and I have no idea what you are because I don't believe we've ever said what a Rana's character is! She's, she's a giggle hound but a robot. Oh good, we've got two giggle hounds. This one seems to have been had a run in with the bloody clock, man. I did give you a description of exactly what she looks like, sort of, in the end. Yeah, I, I, I just saw that after I mentioned, I, I have no idea what I pointed at. <laughs> I just saw the free then after that. <laughs> so two giggle hounds, one a bit metallic. Lizard, bigger lizard. <laughs> Doll. Octodad. I don't even know what that's a reference to. Hmm. Not the oddest group I've had to work with, but... Still up there. I'm assuming that you haven't run because you want the job and not because your legs don't work. Yeah, on everyone's behalf, we haven't got a fucking clue what you're saying! He's just gonna point at the booze. Then drink the rest of the that. bottle. It's your problem. <laughs> I need <laughs> Sounds like she may need sounds like that one may need a bit of a drink, stuffing in the throat. I need the cash or the chop shop. The chop shop. My clinic. <laughs> She's just gonna stare at you for a bit. You're a doctor. Yep. No, I believe, Sheriff. She's a doctor. I no doctor. <laughs> Goldus, ch Goldus chucking the bottle. Boo! <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying she's this, but just I have gonna, to agree with She's him. just gonna literally catch the bottle. You don't want to waste it, dear. There's still some left in here, and she's gonna hand it back to you. You do realize, yeah. what, happened. You do realize what happened to our last doctor, don't you? They died horribly when somebody pushed them in front of a train. Well, not just somebody. We're actually... That nicely ties into what we're after. We do believe we found the culprit responsible for the last doctor's unfortunate passing. And that might be. <laughs> She's just going to dig around in her bag. And she will proceed to pull out. It seems to be a rough drawing of someone. Uh, do, 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 do. I did not save the picture of her, I should have done so. Give me a second. Where is the image? Yeah, again, I feel like I probably should just grab this like this and then throw it into the D&D chat and I'll throw it into the video when I'm editing it. Otherwise, mm. it's probably just yeah. going to scream at me again being like, you need to upload it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this is the figure that you see in the drawing. Yeah. Snake. 
the snake lady. Where? Where is snake lady? In D and D chat. Oh, D and D chat. Yes, at least I'm not looking at the snake. Snake. It's a very unique entomology. I know a few things about tentacles myself. Don't These ask. Aren't tentacles? <laughs> That's a tail. They're there. A rattlesnake it's tail. It's if I'm a not long, mistaken. Tendril. If you walk up to a snake and tell them they're a tentacle, I'm going to laugh. Galder is just looking Quiet. at this good person in just pure disgust, like. Might I ask, do you know anything about this individual? Snake! Sorry, still eat chocolate. She just lets you. Well, she used to be one of the hired muscle for one of those outlaw gangs that tend to live on the outskirts. But um, ever since the last leader kind of got off and uh, hopped on the train, she's taken up command herself. And given the whole harbinger situation that's been happening. It would seem that she, her clan is making a push for more power. Do we know anything about... Uh, I don't know, well, weapons, she... techniques... That she deploys? So what you're saying is... Mm -hmm. what, what, what you're saying is we need to cut the head off the snake? Ah! She tends to employ more venomous kinds of means usually magical or physical that really makes a difference little bit little bit of a mix of both some say she's got some of her firearms and such from the demons oh some well, say that, that she's fun. some say that she's stolen the angel's tech all I know is she's a danger to this town. She certainly some... sounds like such a small fry. You're sure that she's worth a little bit of a uh, hearsay around here? Given that she took care of the doctor, and trust me, the doctor could handle himself in a fight. Oh, one murder isn't very much, dear. <laughs> what did the Wait, if the doctor could handle himself in a fight, what did the body look like after? I like her questions. I imagine torn to shreds. By the train's wheels, yeah. Hmm. Good job. Well, then where should we head first? Well, rumor has it that our little... Entourage is hanging out outside of the town in a little cave just off the way. If you just head out south of the town and keep on going, kind of follow the train tracks along and you should probably get there. Hopefully by nightfall, but you know how things are around this place. Nothing's ever that simple. Mm. That is very true. So... Anybody else have questions? And a translation for that would be. Uh, at least we know who to use as the cannon fodder. Not that he'd understand. <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> Never mind, maybe he won't understand that. At least to an extent. I forgot you have cannons in this realm. I Occasionally. This. Really. I, I miss this with gold. <laughs> he's, he's, he's gonna pull out a stick of dynamite. <laughs> Someone Ooh. is very obviously taking the wick out of him, by the way. He's just like, boom, boom! <laughs> well, what's the question will be? When do we begin, yes? Uh -huh. 
chief, like she said. Looks to the sheriff. Also, I am not promising to keep all of these guys alive. Darling, I don't you, expect you, you, you definitely to. put yourself on very high horses, which is very, very good for this area. Lots of horses here, yet. <laughs> What's your name there, Jank Jiggle Dog? Jiggle Dog. I'm not. <laughs> My name is Billy. Most people call me Sawbones, though. Sawbones. I don't believe I ever said that you had to keep everyone alive. You do, oh, what, you do realize what town you're in. Besides, you should just go and look to your wall. I know how most people operate around these parts, so I'm going to say the words everyone looks forward to at this point. This is a set of of money. It's going to be split among Ooh. those that survive. I don't think I need to tell you anymore. Fish. Then I guess we best be on our way. And may the odds be ever in whoever the fuck's uh, favor. Uh, copy right there. <laughs> I changed it enough. <laughs> Just a few people from Acquisitions Incorporated that would love to talk to you and how much money they can get out of your pocket, darling. Someone is dying there, I can hear it. <laughs> I'll just stand up. I was like, oh, let's move. I'm, str I'm struggling to muster the mental capacity to even say anything. <laughs> I'm having to concentrate. Josh is having third party Osiric flashbacks. <laughs> See, seeing that people are getting ready to head on out, um, who is the tallest person? It's either the lizard or the dog, right? Uh, that's a good point, actually, because we never went through this. So I'm Definitely gonna say, right. as you're all leaving, this would be the time to do character introductions. And tell us what y'all look like and your names and shit. Let so. the right go, Galder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, what? Well, I'm trying to get based. So, we will go left to right. I know Rana's still setting her stuff up, so we can leave you until last if that helps, Rana. That should help somewhat. My brain is still hurting over the fact of me having to do copy paste. Okay. So, <sighs> um, so what you see before you is a uh, little bipedal, very much Napoleon complex, by the way, uh, bipedal monitor looking lizard thing. With, like, really big fucking eyes, maybe a little bit too big for its face. Um, that are like just. A from the Dark Souls. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Just very red as well. It's got that monitor tail, too, so there's, like, that scaled spikes along it um, in that sort of circular form. And he's wearing what appears to be a minor outfit, except he's got, like, two, like, hatchets, like, lumber hatchets, and a fucking blunderbuss. Uh, and on the side of the blunderbuss is the word Golder Cannon. Um, he's got like a little minus hat. And yeah. Also, he's just got big fucking teeth too. Yep. Uh, Sawbow. Okay. So, as they now stand up to their full height... Uh, Sawbone is a seven foot nine tall, foot tall, um, hyena, <laughs> basically. Striped hyena, to be perfect, to be specifically honest, with, um, kind of light grey fur covering, um, most, pretty much most of their body with stripes. And almost kind of like a like mask on their face. 
um, like a raccoon mask over their eyes. Uh, black tips um, kind of come uh, up to the end of the kind of mohawk they've got. Um, they're wearing kind of basic tattered leathers um, with their kind of pack and stuff. Um, there is no kind of indication um, that they particularly care about any of you. <laughs> So. Oh, they also wear. A, you can also see a holy symbol on them of some kind. Josh. Me. Um. Well, you'd see. Well, they're also seven nine. Let's start with that. <laughs> um. It's just a tall, well dressed, uh, lizard-like figure. The mask has very tall horns. Um. On their back is a rifle, a very big sword, and they carry a large vertical shield. And they now have a galder on top of them, as he is going to try to climb up their back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just spotted something on Facebook. Yeah. Apparently there's now such thing as a Jaffa Cake chocolate bar. Hell yes. Uh, Raka. Uh... She is a six foot tall woman figure in a very dark, almost black, but mostly gray, with a red ribbon tied around the waist um, dress. She, her skin is completely made of porcelain, dripping very slowly like black liquids out of some of the cracks, including her eyes and the cracks on her face. She is wearing a rather nice black, like, hat. Um, and she holds a black and red umbrella as her little accent piece she walks around with. That is the porcelain lady. Okay. Jack. Goal is an illithid. Illithids, of course, look like illithids. He has notably darker skin than most illithids, and he's quite short for an illithid. We're coming up at about five foot four. Um, he doesn't particularly have too many distinct features around him, and he doesn't carry more than he has to. Um, you, you, you probably notice some very basic equipment on him. The most notable thing that he seems to possess it's his very, very opulent clothes that look incredibly out of place, just as much as he does, in this very western setting. Everyone else is going around looking like the Clint Eastwood, and he's here looking like he came out of Zoolander. And Rana. Rana. Yeah, surprisingly, isn't as big as the others. Coming in at a 5'9". She is black in coloration, almost an obsidian color. Uh, she appears to be almost completely made out of metal of an unknown origin. Save for the uh, silver streaked, very brightly colored hair, like mane that just goes down her back, adorned with what appears to be ivory and glitter glittering gem carved charms and orbs depicting a dual-headed being of some sort if one were to get a look underneath her clothing slash gear uh, you would see that she has stripes etched into her metal hide hey. are we both striped hyena she Narius race is actually based off of something uh, called an ard wolf, which is related to a hyena. They are related to hyenas, but they're yeah, like insectivores. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you step outside, having taken the drop, 
uh, you would have been given a poster as well, just so that you can help identify. But let's face it, it's not going to be hard to identify someone who's got a lower half of a snake. <laughs> uh, Looks around the street, everybody has a lower half of a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. How long is... Well, sorry? Just in a town of Lamias. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you do see the Snake. rest of the You do see the rest of the patrons there, just watching you, just occasionally <laughs> muttering to each other. Especially when they see you've got the poster from the sheriff. The personal lady's just gonna, like, open her umbrella and head off towards the western part of town. Um, hang on, before we, uh, before we... Or southern this... part of town, sorry. Mr. Mr. Mrs. Lee. Yes. Um, I need you to do the uh, it happened like this rolls. Yep, a 20 and then a 4, if I recall you right. You roll a d20 and a d4. You tell me what the d20 is unless you roll a 4, which... Oh, I should have done that private then. Yeah. Uh, give me a second then and I will re-roll those. Somewhere roll private. them both in private play. Um, if you roll a 4 and a d4, you lie about what the d20 is. Okay. Is that... I did not roll a 4 on the d4. You're not supposed to tell me. Um, oh. In that case, I'm... <laughs> I've never done this before. Don't but... worry about it. In that so, case... you roll a d20 and a d4. Yep. If you get a 1, 2, or a 3, tell me what's on the d20. If you get a 4, lie about what's on the d20. Okay. Well, the d20's a 1. Oh. Okay. Oh, what the <laughs> but yes, it's a one on the twenty. Okay. So they all watch you. Some of these people are probably my patients. <laughs> uh, how long would you say you've been in town? Probably like a month or two. Okay. They wouldn't go out much. So, so they do like to look, don't you? You would have been doing your doctor's work in this town pretty much for that entire month since you got those. It's been a month since the doctor died. The doctor. Yeah. So you would have worked on a couple of people by then. Uh, turnaround rate from people who lived to people who died. Kind of skewed towards patients dying more, but that's just how the West goes. Yeah. It works pretty, like, they don't like patients dying, but they also use it, so it's like yep. the one, worst. One thing that would have surprised you when you first started here, but you've just kind of gotten used to over the month, is the fact that when the bodies pass the bodies <laughs> tend to generally also then vanish um just to point out one of my things is that um uh, the echoes of those who have died to you uh those who have died cling to me so parts of them would have stayed but not all of them is that something that affects stat-wise, or is it just a fluff thing? Uh, it's one of my abilities from my rogue subclass. Okay. Um, basically, when I finish a short or long rest, I can gain one skill or tool proficiency of my choice. Um, as a ghostly present, it shares its knowledge with you. You lose this proficiency when you use this feature to choose a different proficiency that you lack. Okay. Phantom Rogues. I can kind of work with that. Uh, there might be a slight fluff tweaking to it, but it will still work exactly the same. Don't worry. Yeah. It's just um, because I'm a Phantom Rogue, uh, I also have one called Whales of the Dead. Um, as you nudge someone close to the grave, you can channel the power of death to harm someone else as well. Immediately after you do sneak attack damage to a creature on your turn, you can target a second creature that you can see within 30 feet of the first creature. Yep, it... Roll half number of sneak attack dice, round it up. 
Yet again, it'll just be a slight fluff. It'll be a fluff change, not stat change, right to it. Mechanically yeah. still works the same. Don't worry about that. When it yeah. comes up, I will bring up what it is. Because mm -hmm. it just needs to be this way to work in the high noon situation. Given That's fine. That, uh, those that of you that have been in town longer would know that, yeah, no. When the dead die, their souls generally end up on the train. Oh yeah, I wouldn't take their entire soul, just little pieces of them. Even then, little pieces don't go. Like, little pieces don't stick around. They take the full thing. Mm. It, something in the lore with it. Yeah. But, don't worry. I've got something to work out with that. We'll get right. to it when you start it up. I mean, I've already picked my proficiency for today. Yeah. <clears throat> so. As we, um... As we step outside, you'll finally hear a voice come from behind the mask. It's surprisingly soft. Much softer than I can do. But you just hear, I won't be around any bushes. Money split among survivors. If I sense any of you thinking of betrayal, I wouldn't hesitate to kill you. Are we fine and dandy? <laughs> oh, don't worry. If I want to betray you, you'll be dead before you could try. Very well. I just want to upgrade my clinic. They know. Eesh. Sorry, did I say that in my outside voice? Oh, silly me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't you worry, have I have no voice. intention of backstabbing you, large lizard person. Just kind of looks at the large, uh, how you just looks at you is like, shut up with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're heading Good. to the sun. You can call me Chase. <clears throat> so nice name. Mine is Gaul. And they um drop their shield on the floor. It starts floating and they simply step on it and it starts moving with them. Uh, oddly enough. Uh, as you all look, as you look to this board, everyone else. Mm -hmm. this, it seems to me like spitting out flames at the bottom as it helps itself float. Yeah. Y'all can roll me Arcana checks. Ooh. Uh, you won't need to, Josh, because you will automatically know what this is. Okay. Because I said I did have to slightly fluff rework this. But, essentially put, uh, this is like demonic hell energy pouring out of the bottom of this. Uh, Gaul would have gotten this, Neria would have gotten this, Galda would have gotten this, Sawbones. You're not quite sure. But it's, actually, but it's hell energy pouring out of the bottom of this thing. Galder is immediately off the giant lizard man, and he's on top of it. He's just like poking at it, and then like he's gonna <laughs> lick the top of it. Like, <laughs> has a taste of soul fit to it. <laughs> Uh, I do love adventuring yeah. groups. It's always full of interesting folk. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> and where are we going first, Lady with Gun? Well, I did gun, say, gun. I did say, travel to the south of the town and head on out. Keep following the tracks down. You should eventually get to those cliff sides over the yonder. I'm sorry, you might have noticed I have a low attention span. That's why the instructions are on the back. No. Poster. I figured this may be a thing. Hate this one's voice already. Oh, don't worry, not a sound of things you'll be doing. That's a care in about 24 hours. <laughs> Fish fry. <laughs> He'd be a cephalopod, not a fish. It's about school. <laughs> this one actually has more knowledge oh! on the Legal Regals! It's cephalopod fry. <laughs> I 
This one thinks with their stomach a lot, don't they? Yes. Now, let's move. The other one- MOVE! <laughs> the other one already left the mask wearing. Not that one, the other one. Well, you know, the, uh, your doll friend is probably waiting on the outskirts of the town for you all. Oh, hell no. She's just gone along. They catch up, they catch up. If they don't, they don't. Okay. Live or die, she doesn't care. Are you all... Just entertainment. Are the rest of you going at the same pace, or are you just all going at your own paces? Well, well yeah, I'm going at my normal speed of 30 feet. <laughs> Nary will uh, probably also, unless she needs to speed up. Mm-hmm. D depends on Galder's attention span, because if he's if if like if there's the promise of death and fish, he he's he's racing, he's off. But at the same time, like if something shiny or just otherwise catches his attention, he just like be like, Ugh! Okay. I um, mean, Mary is probably pretty distracting with all the shiny boot bobs. Oh, that's true. Gold is on top of Nerea with, like, he's got, like, a little pickaxe just, like, beating at her. Just, like, eh, 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 gold. Break or take anything, I will eat you. Uh, I was just gonna say, to be fair, with my passive uh, perception of 20, I will be keeping an eye on Galder as we walk. Okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> with the, well, with my dexterity of 20, screw you! <laughs> That's just my perception, Santa. Oh, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> you've, like, you've learned from me. your... Uh, you've learned from your mistakes of playing games with me. You know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I've learned from playing with you and Rebecca. <laughs> Gold is kind of worse than Mariah. That was back when Mariah was serious, Mariah. <laughs> so, uh, if you're all going at your own paces, I believe that the only one that would actually catch up to our doll friend here would be... I forgot the name. Uh-oh. Names. Important. Me. Yes. Josh's character. Chase. Chase. BRB. Chase will the catch up on the board. Is that his name? Is your role going at your own paces? Chase just kind of takes off ahead on the board. And you do see them just slowly fade into the distance. I imagine it is like a, like the little, what, oh, what the fuck are they called? Stegways. But it's the board, like he just like leans forward and it's just like the best the best way to describe it is uh you've seen Arcane, haven't you? Mm-hmm. It's the firelight board. Oh okay. <laughs> I have to get myself one of them. Oh, that's so but nice and fast. Be jettisoning. <laughs> yeah. Uh mm -hmm. I do want you, uh porcelain lady, to make me a perception mm -hmm. check. As you're it's going along the way. Fail. Oh, I thought I was going to totally <laughs> eat shit on that one. It's a plus zero, so. You do hear what seems to be the crackling of flames and just a kind of noise coming from behind. Spice mobile is catching up. <laughs> you do see Chase just leaning forward on the board as Duke approaching. Oh, well. One got out of town. Maybe the others did too. And she's just gonna turn back towards where she's heading and just keep on a, on a truck in. She's kind of folded the umbrella up at this point and is walking with it like a cane. <laughs> just kind of enjoying her day. And you can literally, Chase would be able to see, like, she hasn't not been walking around the deserts for a very long time because you would start to notice that her dress actually has a very thick layer of, like, brimstone dust just, like, floating off of it as, like, any breeze blows by or, like, anything. 
I feel like I need to state that this is one of the oddest ways we've split the party. Not a few, mm. uh, not few people just going off and doing their own little adventures, but quite literally split it via speeds. <laughs> <laughs> Speed and wanting to get away from people. <laughs> they'll they'll slow down at least a little bit. Okay. Upon catching it up, just jumps to, uh, on. Chip chip. How big are you? She would be excessively light. Like, oh. she's not actually that heavy. Like, that's the thing. She's full of, like, so it's like a black fluid liquid, almost like sludge. But it's almost non-existent in weight. It's the equivalent to being filled with shadows. Okay. And the porcelain around her is so, thin. Uh, like, I would say probably a good, like, 60 pounds. Chase. Yep. As soon as she tries to step onto your board, you're expecting it to kind of just start to tip due to unbalance. Oddly enough, it doesn't seem to do it that much. Like, Such a delicate she... step. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, though, she is leaking what seems to be black ooze onto the top of your board. Should I be worried about that? No, dear. It actually has no utter effect on... Anything other than, well, I would say living creatures, but you'd have to be drowning in it. And that, that's something for a very special occasion. You just see the back of their head nod. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just well, I kind of started to see where she's talking about the cliffs, but... They're still off in the distance, and she's just going to kind of like, almost like a rifle, point with her umbrella off towards like, what you would barely see the top of the cliffs in the horizon. <laughs> so, uh, there is something she got 30 30 vision. A couple of things I should ask here. One, hmm. are you still traveling while she's getting on, or did you stop? He slowed down. Uh, That's why she like made the, like, yeah, going, so she like kind of made the chauvinistic like hop. But a very light hop onto the board and like kind of like grabbed onto him while steadying herself with her umbrella. Okay. In that she was case, just kind of like. I'm gonna say that giving you slot down just to make sure that they're fine. This will give time for everyone else to catch up. Yep, it's fine. So everyone uh -huh. else, as you're carrying on, you do finally see Chase on the board with the poison lady on the front of the board as they're just chatting. Oh my. And you, you two, you hear a giant bugle being played. Oh. Just like a. Da, 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 da. Just have like. Just the ear. Just the ear. Oh, <laughs> <all. laughs> That's what you it's think, like, but, there's, just uh, like a, Logger's... there's just like a light tap on the board as well from her thing. I'm... We must go now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. As as you do that uh, telepathically, Galder will join in because he's a telepath. Oh boy. Uh, and he's still the got me. The conversation, <laughs> the humming just continues telepathically now. We even reach the point where a bugle somehow comes in again. Um... Uh, what were you trying to say, Lydia? <laughs> just... Thawbones' ears pinned back. <laughs> Despite it being like a telepathic thing, just pinned back ears, just like, ugh. <laughs> and yes, you all managed to catch back up. But <sighs> oddly enough, there is another noise slowly picking up in intensity. Not just the bugle, or the conversation, or I guess a uh, for any other telepaths out there, the humming. Naria just suffering mentally. <laughs> and then the ground begins to rumble. Oh and my! To realize choo -choo. The train is approaching. Choo -choo. <laughs> like, as they go by on the board, there's, like, any of those little, like, rocks that are sticking up. She just uses her umbrella and hooks into one and just kind of, like, turns the board away from the tracks. <laughs> this way, dear. Um, this is a way. very long something. <laughs> what was that? Yep, you will see. 
That seems to be a giant train. Um, uh, which made... direction is it going? From the town, forward towards the cliffs. So at the same direction as us? Roughly the same oh. direction, but before it even reaches the cliffs, you see it turn like to the left and curve off. <laughs> okay. Oh. I was going to ask if it was going in a direction that I could um, pretty pretty much get ahead of it so it cuts us off from the rest of the party. <laughs> <laughs> um, out of you just see us racing a train at that point? Cool. You've we got can, this, dear. <laughs> we can hear it, can we see it? You do see it approaching now. A train. Is it a train train or is it the train? It's a train of steel and flames. That's the train. Oh, yep. Yeah, Gold, is, Gold is immediately burrowing. He's jumped off near you and he's burrowing into the sand. Then, choo choo! It's a choo choo, maybe. He could hunt through it. <sighs> this is the moment I wish I was a druid and I had gust of wind. I am Open the umbrella. <laughs> I am going to want deck saves off people. As this <laughs> passes okay. by. Uh, Golder, since you said you are digging to try and get past it before it came, you can have a... Yeah, bandage. Golder's... Mo Sweet! <laughs> I was going to say, Golder's monitor instincts took in and he's just digging into the sand. <laughs> what? Were we on the track? You're not on the track, but you're next to the track. As soon as we know what's coming, I'm that gonna... That is a natural 20. I'm gonna... Gonna quickly tell, um... What, what's, what's her name to get off? Porcelain Lady. Porcelain Lady. And, um, fl flip the board up. Okay. If I could use, a uh, Utilize Shield Master here. So at that point, she's gonna do a backflip. Can I make this an acrobatics check? You acrobatics, um, yes, you can do the shield. Lovely. I also have a shield. You can pop the shield up if you want to, Oof. but the 17 has already I'll saved you. That, not one, at least. that is the most elegant backflip with an umbrella open, slowly like drifting down to the ground that That's I've ever seen. The only two that have failed this is Gaul and Galder. <laughs> 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 they were too distracted by their humming. <laughs> Oh no, Gold, Gold is like Gold is just half-assed in the sand, just like he, 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 trying to cover himself. Yep. Uh, <laughs> given that I got a natural twenty, can I just kind of snatch Golder while I? I was about to say you could say with the natural twenty, you can uh, basically give either Gold or Golder one extra roll. Mm, what's odds are even to odds Golder evens Gold. One twenty. Calder. Okay, Calder, you can roll me another dex. There you go. So you kind of half bury yourself in San Calder, <laughs> but as Naria just kind of dives forward, she pushes you forward <gasps> into the sand. <laughs> just use Calder as a freaking springboard. <laughs> uh, and this train wow. flies past with everyone dodging out the way aside from Chase, who dodges behind the shield. Uh, Chase, you feel the shield start to heat up as this thing is quite literally spitting flames as it's racing past. I mean, the shield is the hoverboard. It also spits flames. It does. That's why it's not uh, heating metal to the point of you're taking damage. But you do feel like it getting hotter. Uh, Gaul, however... It's a little warm. Unfortunately, you didn't dive away far enough. Getting feel, rather close! You do feel oh. the flames spitting out. And, uh... <laughs> <right in it. laughs> Spice me calamari! I can't worry about all this rice chat! Oh, you know what's funny, Lay? I just realized my walking speed is 45 feet. Ah, not the tentacles! Not all my tentacles! Uh, don't touch the tentacles. Don't touch the tentacles! Uh, you will find 
<laughs> what clothing is he wearing? Oh, he's wearing like the finest of robes and such, isn't he? Uh, yeah, some of them have started to catch on fire. No, 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 no! Woody will be able to have calamari after all. Chase! Uh, you know. No, calamari for you! Fish fry! I feel like there's already like three people looking forward to calamari at this point, and the chef is ready to prepare. It's just I will rip you all apart! It's just, Don't make me do it! It's just gold just rolling around the sand trying to put the fire. Each time he looks over to the group, they're all there with the knives and forks. Um, <laughs> if, 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 Gaul, if Gaul is rolling around in the sand, Galder's just going to quickly just like reach up if he comes near him and just pull him through the sand, just like, down. I think Gaul just disappear in the sands. I have tremors. <laughs> I'm going to roll. It's just like a fucking ant line. <laughs> yep, that no. works. Uh, you do try and pull, but uh, Gold rolls out the way. No, no, I will not be had twice! Oh, these friends! Oh, I'll have to get them replaced when I next return to the brain! Well, we can't let this hold us up. We do have a paying job, people. Ooh, payment! You weird humanoid creatures do like your shinies! Uh, for <laughs> those of you who weren't distracted by the rolling around Gold, mm -hmm. you would have seen the train carry on forward. And then seemingly almost as if it just dove into the sand. Well, I should certainly remember to avoid the big metal thing in the future. It's the porcelain really lady is gonna head I that mean, way towards where it disappeared. Yep. Avoiding metal things is typically a good thing. You do yes, normally there's at least someone on the other end of it. You do see the tracks, oh. kind of. Hmm. You alright there? <coughs> Soulbones yelling at Jack. Uh, you do see the tracks <laughs> kind of just sink into the sand, poison lady. What seems to be just a large ring of flame surrounding it. But the tracks are slowly re-emerging above the sand. You can roll me a Arcana check on this, if you wish. Sand <laughs> You've been around this town long enough to know. Uh, this is the train, the Obsidian train. Uh, I believe it's the Obsidian train. Let me just look that up, just to double make sure. It is the Sulphur Rail. Uh, mm. It's basically a train that takes the spirits of this place to hell. <laughs> it's also not just a train. It's something cooler. Yep. Hello. Oh, behind us, shall we get to move on? I'll take that ZX. <laughs> I mean, Nerea technically didn't stop walking. <laughs> just me, just me. Fire does that to you. <laughs> so, um, it the it looks like um, Sawbones wants to bite. The squid. <laughs> the squid, man. <laughs> he's, he's looking at the others for assistance in the words. Pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, what's essentially a giant puppy? Oh. I'm not a canine. Oh, cry about it, darling. Let's get a move on. So as you carry on, mm, it is right, puppy. It is... <laughs> oh, you're very easy to set off. It is uh -huh. coming night. I'm not healing him. You said it was becoming night. Yep, it is slowly becoming night. The tip of the porcelain lady's umbrella, where the top of it is, is going to have like a faint glow. And she's just going to keep it face down like a cane, like walking with the glowing tip on the ground. It's becoming night time, yeah? Yep. Mm -hmm. And can I have you all roll me a perception? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Are 
yes, no, yes, yes, yes. I feel like we're missing someone. There it is, yes. Everyone, but the poison lady. See what seems to be a small flicker of flame out in the desert. Just, just oh, about it. again. This is away from the train tracks, I should thought. But well, like I understand that. That is fair. Bort. Bort, 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 bort. So one pet Luke for me, huh? Sorry. It's okay. So, yes, it. you do see... <laughs> they just got loud there. <laughs> you see a flame off at the distance. Is that where we're heading? It isn't the train again, is it? Uh, that's what you call it, right? The train? Yes, yes. Right, I know you don't particularly want to talk to me, but I can at least answer. Yeah, it's sort of in this together, right? <laughs> you get so much as of a nod. <laughs> oh, yeah? What happens when the, the, when the party are almost all a bunch of loners that just physically respond rather than verbally respond. Yeah. <laughs> Aside from one. <laughs> to be fair, the main reason Sawbones is talking because he really doesn't want, they really don't like to win. <laughs> so, as, as we cross this desert and it's night, um, Golder is going to put a coin in the sand because a desert is an ocean of sand. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not testing these waters if you're clever. Uh <laughs> I think all this is just on all four just scurrying away, just like <laughs> it's high new Nautilus, I don't <laughs> Maybe Nautilus. He should have been the train. Oh god, that would have been cool. Uh anyway. So him and then Rex I could have been the uh... Like, whole pay your tithe in the desert thing. So the flame is... Not at not the tracks, just like, somewhat off to the right. Towards the cliffs, but not at the cliffs themselves. Okay. I haven't noticed this, so she's just still walking. Just... Uh... Um, <laughs> everyone can see the flick. Uh, yes. No. Boom, boom. What flame? Wait, get, gets your head, turns it. I, next time, I would suggest not touching me, and I suggest wiping off your hand. And yes, I do see it. Uh... Goop. Goop. Acidic goop. Acidic goop. Oh, well, I lost all Cause the... Because she, she was... Yeah, because she was a black dragonborn when they were alive. And oh, so a, their, like, in, their like, innards yeah. is literally black. Almost yeah. like acid, but it's super, like... It's just like, oh, well, yeah. I lost the feeling in my paws long ago. Oh, well... It's still best to keep the skin on those toe beans. That's fair. Heading towards it. Yes, yes. Oh my god. Smacked him with the umbrella. Yes! <laughs> uh, Lay. Yes. Jack Archer. How, far, how far away is the fire? It's just about I'll on roll the, a uh... flat D20 for this shit. Yes! It's just about, like, on the horizon, I'd say. You feel like it probably shouldn't be too much of a travel. You should be able to get there before it's fully night. Well, before you should be able to get there and still have time to get rest before morning. Words. Okay. English. Well, well uh, Dollface is punching tentacle face in the Not face. Not punching, I'm slapping um, him with my umbrella because he... In the face. Um, 
Galder is just going to carry on his way. Um, yeah. I'll go with just, Galder. Yeah, he's just like scurrying along. Um, I don't yeah. think leave this little guy on his own. You ever seen like a Jesus lizard run? It's like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> after after hitting Gaul, she's just gonna on her way it and turn the light off on her umbrella. This is the point where it's slowly sinking into my mind that this is Jack's backup character. So if, <laughs> if Alexander ever dies, we've got to go through this again. Mm. <laughs> Ori will actually kill him. <laughs> coping, coping and seething. So, you all carry on your way towards the flame. And as you're getting closer, the air is filled with what seems to be guitar music. Just like an acoustic guitar. Hmm. And you see two small figures huddled around the flames. Golda's gonna look back at Sawbones. Boom, boom. Not yet. Oh. Tells me off when I try to ask people things. I'm just gonna go and walk to them. Hmm. I'll walk up to them. <laughs> I'll look at Golder, because we'd walked ahead. You guys weren't moving yet. I was like, stay. Stay. Nah. Sawbones is going to approach. Yep. And aside from Chase, Almost everyone that you've met has been smaller than you anyway, but these ones are golder levels of height. Kind of, I imagine how this looks then. Seven foot nine, dog walking over and looking down at them like... And yeah, it's just two smallish figures. Uh, probably from your angle, all you're seeing is the cowboy hats to one top of their heads. Kind of like... Hello. Oh god, Waffleberg's typing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they just kind of hear the deep grumbly. Hello. The guitar music stops. And uh, one of them will just slowly look up. And the flames... I was just kind of reflecting off their purplish skin. Dark purple hair. Ah, well, howdy there. You travelling around these deserts as well? Yes, me and some compatriots. They'll look over and just see like, the shadows of everyone else slowly approaching. Gold is already sitting by the fire. He's got, mm -hmm. like, a marshmallow on a stick. There he is. Not gonna lie, I thought you were gonna eat us for a second there. Go to Your kind. Yeah. Eat most things. Not things that are purple. Much about did not stop the last ones. Last ones? Yeah, some kind of looking like you over towards the cliff sides. Been picking off caravans coming through. Our caravan mm. kind of got hit on the way, and well, we're the only two left. The only two left from what? Our caravan. Oh. Traders. Oh. Do you have anything left? When when he says traitor, he's gonna look over at Chase. Boom boom. No. Uh, the, the, the traitor. All we got is our supplies that we could muster up before we fled. Uh, the guitar, and the one with purple skin will hold up what seems to be a double barrel shotgun, and this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, self-defense and all. You never all right. Question. Yes. Does, does this purple-skinned tiny person with a shotgun happen to have an afro? You can't tell from under the hair. Well, from under the hat. 
But uh, it does seem like there is what seems to be a large bushy ponytail sticking out the back. With that is dark. Session one, Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, we won't hurt you. My name is Sawbones. I'm a doctor. Oh, well, doctors usually have to take that whole uh, old thing that stops people in, for stops them from hurting people, right? And the other thing that's looking down, like, yeah, but they could be lying, you idiot. I never took that oath. That just makes it worse. I'm being honest with you. You're not who we're looking for anyway. Then who are you looking for? Snake Lady. Probably the same ones that attacked your caravan. Well, if so, they're having people like you. Hiring for him. Or putting them down. She's just gonna or take... capturing it was never specified. She's just gonna tip her black hat up a bit so that you can see more of her face. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely a bit more paler of a complexion than the purple one. Uh, kind of black around the eyes, green hair. Kind of like folded down at years. Yep. That there's Mariah. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, that was not meant to be in character. That was out of character. <laughs> what was it meant to be in character? I went, uh. <laughs> it's boom, boom, bam. What, sorry? It's us and you are, because I didn't get the second name. Oh. Vex. I can almost hear Jack screaming from here. <laughs> um... Hey, if Riot won't give her any more skins, I'll make them. <laughs> I'll make the skins myself, damn it. I knew Vex, here we go. <laughs> well. Does that mean Shadow would have a cute little top hat with ears? I would love that. <laughs> Shadow freaking turns into a horse. So. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I suppose we can uh -oh. sit by the fire as long as you're not going to try and start anything. I don't think we should really stay, honestly. Large groups in the desert tend to draw attention. I've done a lot of walking in these deserts. Just wondering. It is also safety in numbers, though. I can protect us. Hmm. I'm gonna head off numbers. towards the cliffs regardless. So, she's gonna tip her hat to the two tiny little... Pretty much yordles. Yep. Have a good day, you little fuzzy friends. And she's gonna like put her hat back on and she's gonna turn towards the cliffs and start walking oh God. that way. I just had the mental thought then. Mm. I don't know if anyone's gonna get this reference, but uh do any of you know of an, an, an old show called uh, Brave Star? No. Lightly. Yes. Sounds familiar. The, the yordles in the high noon thing are just like Deputy Fuzzy's race. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's awesome. Should be cute little bees. As we're getting away from this fire, uh -huh. uh, I'm going to look for a place where we can be sheltered, but hit it. Uh, make me a survival check. You spot a couple of places that could do. Uh, one of them is a bit more open, but 
it's still sheltered enough. Just like where a little cliff edge seems to be cr trying to crop out like a large rock. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one seems to be... It's a lot less under something, but a bit more covered. In a large cactus patch. There's a large a little, cactus There's a space enough to place your hut down in the middle of a mall. Okay. I'm going to look to the others and go this way. Oh, right. And which one are you yeah. choosing? I'll lead him over to the cactus patch. Yep. Um, like, we're gonna camp here. Well, frankly, like your personality. And then seeing, uh, literally the... Ah. The paw pads on Sawborn's paws begin to glow. I was about to say, will this use kind of like that same kind of power? Huh? Would this be using the similar kind of power to the soul thing we were on about? Uh, no, this is just cleric abilities. This okay. is the twilight stuff, twilight cleric stuff. Just kind of pulls out a small crystal bead from the pocket. Um, if you're fine with me do doing so with this, Dion? Yeah? I'm going to tie this in with the flavor of how your rogue thingy would work as well. Sure. So, it's, it's said, you see sawbones pull out the things normally needed for the spell, and the warm white glow emits as they prepare something. People can roll me an icon check. That'll do. That'll do. Obviously, you would know this sawbones. Yeah. You would know what this is. Yep. Uh, uh, Golda, unfortunately not. Golda, you think she's got a torch hidden up her sleeve? Or his sleeve? Uh, I don't know what Sawbones' so gender is. He? She? <laughs> yeah, no. At the minute, they're just they. No one's asked. Fair. <laughs> as far as we know, Sawbones is an Apache helicopter. They're pretty androgynous. They don't have any defining features that would say male or female. What is in Sawbones' pants? Sawbones. <laughs> it's another sawbone. Yeah. It's like, what's in your pants? Stethoscope. <laughs> Is that a stethoscope in your pocket, or are you just sawbones to see me? So, like, oh no, it's definitely a stethoscope. Given that you Pulls are out a kaleidoscope. A uh, <laughs> what are you cleric class again? Uh, I am a cleric of twilight oh, and. Rogue of Phantoms. So as you're watching, as Sawbones extends their poor hand, and this white glow emits. Goldie, as I said, you think it's a torch. Everyone else, this is like a holy energy. Almost as if she's channeling the energy of angels to do this. Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> And then, pretty much, from I throw the glass bead into the center of the patch, and from it kind of grows this ten foot radius dome. Um, and we can all walk inside it. Yep. I'll stay outside. Thank you. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, Galder is going to quickly just let, 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 as he coughs up what appears to be this fleshy little bulb thing. He's going to grab it, run up over to uh, Sawbones, hold it up. Yeah. Kind of takes the bulb oh. and looks at it, it's like, oh. Thank Congratulations, you. bolstering magic, because I'm a wild magic barbarian. Uh, <laughs> so uh, when he can, uh, when he if he cast a spell in the next ten minutes, I'm using this because I'll just get it back anyways. Uh, you get a D three bonus. Also, you can get that spell slot back by rolling that D three. I don't use a spell slot to cast Tidy Hut. It's one of my cleric, <laughs> my domain spells. Oh well, your next spell in ten minutes. I just need to use it because uh, I get them back after a long rest. Okay, so I'll kind of look to um, 
to your character, Rocket. What was your name again? I can't remember. The porcelain lady. Porcelain lady. I look at the porcelain lady and it's like, it'll be safer inside. Nothing can get in. I'm like, <sighs> There are some things, my dear, you do not want sleeping next to you inside of a small space. Lady, I'm a giant furry hyena. And if you want to stay furry, you'll let me sleep out here. Your choice. Soulbones will walk inside, seeing if everyone else is going in. Yeah. Galder just watching Sawbone go and we'll look back at the porcelain lady. Uh, and he's just going to be like, edgy, and then go and do the thing. Uh, inside the tiny hut is dimly lit currently. The color of the dome outside just looks like has changed color, so it kind of blends in with the sand and cactus. Hmm. The porcelain lady it doesn't sleep, she just kind of meditates, so she's just going to kind of take a standing pose, open her umbrella, and just, like, freeze. Uh, from the inside, completely transparent, you can see everything around. Comfortable oh. temperature and dry. Yep. Um, and yeah. pretty much she's surrounded you... by cacti. <laughs> yeah. Although you can't see Chase's face, you hear, um... A sort of impressed, impressed noise. And they seem to be nodding, almost reassuring themselves. I, so, you all get a rest. Oh, go on. I always keep this one ready for when I need to travel. So Just roll. <laughs> it keeps happening. So you all get your rest. <laughs> I need a new D20 and D4. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need a new D20 and D4 because the last one was a one. Also, I should state this, I didn't lie about that one. That was actually a one. <laughs> yeah, I figured, because it literally made no sense to lie about the one. Unless it was a really good roll, that's a lie. Um, Can't I... you use it on enemy attacks against you? No, nope, just me. This one is a nine. Alright. Lee? Yes. Um, are you excited for your secret lair get tomorrow? I can't believe I'm trading a Jeremy Dodger for a secret lair. Either <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, way. As the sun starts to rise over the top of the cliff sides, the porcelain lady. Hmm. Make me a perception check. Not terrible. Not great. Okay. Kind of Let's like see. unfreezing from her position. So some of the porcelain like fused together over the night and it just like cracks and breaks again when she like goes to move. You feel like you're hearing something as you're trying to rest. Kind of like a munching sound. Hmm. Like a... Just gonna kind of fold the umbrella up and look around a little bit more keenly. Yep. And as you look around, you spot something munching on the cacti. Ah, <sighs> what is it? It is, and this one I actually am uploading to here because this one didn't. Oh, yeah, that's what I was expecting. It is Waffleberg. <laughs> yeah, it's Waffleberg. <laughs> it's Heidi so Wolfenberg, which is quite literally just a vulture. It's so, <laughs> it's so cute. Can we keep it? <laughs> oh my god, it, it's bird. It, it's waffle bird. It's waffle. <laughs> this is where he goes when he's not in use. It is. He truly is becoming waffle bird. I have to refresh the page because I tried to drag it and it did the whole glitch thing. I don't know why that's when he likes to do that to me. That's that's what Alari calls him, Waffle Burb. I know. <laughs> that's You'll what Josh it. called him. This. He's a Google. 
Oh, no. <laughs> she is very graciously going to pick a small piece of cactus, like cactus fruit, if she can find it. Uh, and she is going to walk over gently, crouch down, and present him with the num-nums. It should be noted as well, this thing is as tall as the cacti. Mm-hmm. But it's just still kneeling down and presenting him with the num-nums. She's like placing it on the ground. It's like a big piece of cactus. Uh, make me an animal handling. Hey. <laughs> this, this is going to go very south. I'm sorry, sleepy people. <laughs> yes, that it was... is going to go very south. <laughs> Jesus. Galder doesn't sleep, so <laughs> he'll hear your screams. So... Oh, she's not going to scream. She's just... As you try and You'll place see. this down on the ground, its mouth is going to open up wide, but it's just going to race forward and bite onto your, kind of like scoop up the piece of cactus as well as your arm and just latch down. Uh, you know, this is something I, a lovely lady, never wants to do, but she's going to... You know what? I'm just going to do it this way. Actually, no, no, I'm not. She's going to drop the umbrella to the ground, and then she's going to take two fingers, put them together, and she is going to stab him in the eye. Yeah, that'll it. And... if he does not let her go, she is going to do it again. <laughs> Just keep stepping it out. I get two attacks per action, so... He does have multiple eyes, so that's plenty of spaces to hit. Also, I should... no, I'll stab the same goddamn eye again, I don't care. I should also note as well, uh, take two piercing damage from the bite itself. That's perfectly fine. Jesus Christ, there was just shit rolls. And one acid damage. I don't take any acid damage. I'm resistant to acid because I am a black dragonborn. Resistant, resistant means you still take you you take half damage. Yep. Yeah. What, half of one is still one. Yeah, yeah, that it, it, yeah, it doesn't go to zero. You, you still minimum is one. Yep. So you'll be taking one acid damage. You said I took three damage. Yeah. Is this just like trying to gnaw on your arm? You stab it in the eye. It's just. What is it doing? It's still knowing. Just like. It's breakfast. It, it gets back. one goddamn motherfucker. <laughs> she stabs him in the other, in one of his other eyes. <laughs> you get one more motherfucking chance, bitch. Also. Does, be does go, because we can see through the dome, does Galder see this happening? Uh, take 14 damage. 14. Yeah, uh, Galder would see this happening. Um, you would also notice that almost all the cacti that were surrounding the dome are now gone as well. Galder is going to make very clear that this is the only thing out there. And that there's not like a pack of them. Make me a perception check. And on top of that, make me a nature check. Okay. You only see this one. How focused is it on eating the uh our dolly friend given that it still hasn't let go <laughs> it seems quite focused calder is going to walk out of the dome <laughs> just like grumpy like as he puts on his suspenders he's just gonna walk right up to the creature <laughs> Do we all hear this now? You hear Golder, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I haven't um, made a as, single noise. Like, she has not. As, She's as, just been, like, stabbing it in the eye. 
As Galder is doing this, though, he is reaching out with his telepathy to attempt to tell the thing. Uh, out of curiosity, he still doesn't. Given that you're reaching out to it with telepathy to talk to it, would Gaul also hear the telepathy? Uh, no, I think you have to actually explicitly want to talk to me. Okay. Yeah. So, you reach out to try and talk to it in the mind. Let's see... It's time to force! In all seriousness, how can you do the voices so well? What? Uh, really I good. love Kogma. Kogma is like one of my favorite. Like, um, I, still, <laughs> I still stood, I was still just like sat here just being like, and you say you're not a voice actor. Despite the I'm fact not. that you can do both that voice and fiddlestick so well. Oh, you don't have to be a voice actor to really enjoy doing voice. I just have to be fabulous. God, leave me alone. <laughs> Anyway, go on. Uh, speaking of this, if this was because he's a void thing, also remember, Galt was a void thing. <laughs> he's technically not a not void thing in this. Yeah, t yeah, the void doesn't exist in the High Noon verse. So he j he does look to you, though, Galder. And given that this current snack is constantly trying to stab him while he's trying to eat, meanwhile you've quite literally walked walked up to it, and you're a smaller bite size. It will release the arm. Oh my god, it's the moment the moment it releases the arm, Golda's biting onto its leg. <laughs> this thing is getting an attack. Make a bite attack. <laughs> Can I ask for a grapple instead? A grapple. Um Golda's just like latching onto it. I don't even know if a small could grapple a medium. They can. No, yeah. but it's 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 the yeah they can, they can. He's also got max strength for a small too. So. Okay. Also, what were you saying there, Dion? Yeah. I was just saying it's pouring down. I can't hear it because I have my headphones. And I believe it's just one damage because I'm not proficient in uh, any of that. So it's just so it, fifty. It, oh, is he biting on Galder? No. Uh, because oh. when it comes to grapples, if you roll an opposing check, at oh least. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, yeah, I was ahead of myself there. But yeah, seventeen will hit for one damage, so it was just kind of latch on. <laughs> However, because you have latched on, <laughs> this won't be as high as damage as it has been for the poison lady because you've not been reaching. Your hand hasn't basically been in the mouth where the majority of it is, but you will still be taking some acid damage as it's acid like blood fills your mouth. So I take three damage. This is just seasoning. <laughs> it's like wasabi. Like that's what this is. It's just wasabi. Everyone aside from Gaul, yeah, you, you hear and go this noise, and then yeah. you look up just to see Golda clinging onto this thing's leg. It's kind of like stand up on both and look down at them both. It's like, what are you doing? Don't worry, I'll we'll take care know. of it. I guess maybe. I don't know. I would rather just walk away. Oh goodness! Everyone seems to be waking up. Oh, it's very early. If just kind of waking up before. Do you waking up now with the loudness? Like, not my choice. That's what seems to be going on out here. Why are you fighting a giant insect? Odd choice for breakfast. Oh. oh. Allow me to tell it to fuck off. <laughs> allow me to tell it to fuck off, bang. It tells you to fuck off instead. Oddly enough, they do both hit uh, with the 12 actually being a meat and beat. Okay, so 16... You, if I do say 70, so myself! 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 
Can't you talk like a normal fucking person? Do I look like a normal fucking person? No, but you sound like an idiot. Can you say that? You sound like your mother fucked your sister. Um. Oh dear. Galder, still biting on, is just going to sigh. Um, as he is, is this thing still alive? Uh, it's still upright and it's shuddering. Chase, who startled awake, just walks up to it. <laughs> Clarion blows. Okay. It's just kind of boom. What is Chase and, doing? Uh, I'll take the next attack if that's all right, regardless of who's nearby. Okay. If it's Man, like, whoop, if this it's is like that, I'll take it. More cruelty. Wait, 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 wait. This is okay. animal cruelty right here. We're torturing a poor creature. I Can mean, it technically started it. <laughs> I didn't start anything. No. I tried oh. to feed it. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It, it takes a hit, it's still standing, and it's just shuddering wildly. Extra attack. Just like... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> It's still standing. It's still shooting. You just hear it going. <laughs> Action surge. No. Dex, what? Dex serve. Everyone. Golden. Oh God. I, I, I saw that. I saw this coming. Oh, no. I saw this coming. It, yeah, this is it's just gonna mind. like it's lurch it's backwards. To get a I'm action. going to use one use of my protection. Well, no, so Cogma's oh. passive in game is when he dies, he becomes a suicide bomber. His passive specifically states that he will hunt out the <laughs> nearest, like almost pretty much warm bodied thing and blow up next to it, spraying them with acid. Yep. So, yeah, you have to Probably like enough. run. Fully My enough, duck save was a 15. Fully enough, this thing died after the Eldritch Blast. Ha. That's why I started saying it's just stood there and shuddering. <laughs> uh, it's just waiting. Um, <laughs> waiting to blow up. If, if this thing blows up on Galder, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm very much sorry if a 7 so, doesn't pass. Uh, Gol? Uh, Gol and Poison Lady, you two are a meet and beat. On this DC. 15. Mm. Nerea, you're fine. Golder and Sawbones. Uh, oh, no. Chase, you're also fine. Golder and Sawbones, however, unfortunately, you two are not fine. So you'll be taking the full brunt of this. Um. Uh, also. After it, it explodes, be... is there enough? Hmm. It should be noticed, this is acid damage, so Poison Lady, half this, half this twice. Oh god. So half it and then half what the half was. Okay. So basically a quarter. Um, nine, so five? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I preferred the fire from yesterday! <laughs> <laughs> so those Let does everything here burn! Does that failed? 18. As, Does that pass? 9. As as this thing blows up, can Galder rage? Because this was going to be his breakfast. <laughs> Feel free to do so, and I know what this is going to trigger. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, best way to put hey, this is, it's a this thing explodes. Burning a key point? <laughs> This thing explodes. Hey! As that thing explodes, Galder explodes into protective lights! Like a fucking rainbow! Still takes the damage, though. <laughs> I'm just imagining Galder has just become like a mini rave, colors wise, but all he's doing is the uh, King Scream of Fury. <laughs> it's just like stood up, it's going, yeah, yeah, falls down onto his ass, so it's going around. <laughs> Uh, I was actually hoping for it too, so that I could teleport away. But no, 
<laughs> but I do get plus one AC from this. Just starts to rage. Falls as if he's about to do the drop and then just teleports away. It's like the perfectly cut screen better. It's a it's a perfectly cut king screen. Yeah. <laughs> to be completely honest, I'm honestly surprised it took us that long to find something to murder. Here we are. Just kind of looks a bit annoyed, eye twitching, just kind of goes, I'm going back to bed. Just turns around and goes back inside. And as you turn yep. around, you do see racing towards you five more of these things. Inside! Oh. I can't get in! <laughs> yeah, this, I'm... Uh... Even though Golda didn't see any because he was... because they were quite a bit away. It, yeah, these things are pack travelers. It's like... It's being it's... Inside, they can't get in there. Um... Very cozy in here. <laughs> The porcelain lady's just going to head towards the cliffs and, like, she's dash-actioning the fuck out of this with Step of Wind. <laughs> she's gone. Those bitches out. <laughs> you see a lady there, and then you see a, just a bunch of, like, soot and ash as she just disappears. <laughs> You've oh never seen an inanimate object move so fast. <laughs> you would also see, um... As the <laughs> as as the acid hit um, chase, they they simply just dissipate, and Sawbones comes back into the um, the dome, and they're just <laughs> they're just sleep. <laughs> Not even gonna question it, and just gonna <laughs> goes back in. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Although you... after lunch, being slapped by her yesterday, I, I, would, like to, I would like to say. Um, because the dome does stop uh, light from the outside, all the light within the dome is uh, synthetically made by the dome. Uh, Calder is just lighting up the dome like a fucking disco ball at this point. He's like in the center, just spinning around, more enamored by the lights. Like, uh, you will notice that someone well, didn't follow you back in, as the poison lady has just raced off. Yeah. She'll do what she do. Calder actually has no care in that because he's only really talked to her once and seen her really once. To be fair, Sawbones doesn't really care enough. That's fine. Her. I am going to say, though, that even though we were hoping for this to be a one-shot, most likely it's going to be a two-shot as we're ending it there for tonight. Okay. Remember an entire hours. week of goal, lads. How do you feel? <laughs> Not well, it's on. Um, do do you want me to answer that as oh. Galder or Waffleberg? Well, they're both explosions. So uh, the, this version of Galder is the original version of Galder was punchy, punchy. He would just punch people people in the face. He got introduced by actually bullying one of the people in Bilgewater into the tavern. So, what were you saying there, Dion? As I say, it's not coming up to 12. No, 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 it's coming up to two coming hours, to I said. Two hours. Oh, I thought you said 12. I mean, it's coming it's... up to that as well in an hour and a half, roughly. I mean, that's fair, but... Remember, I've still got to start stuff for tomorrow. That's a you problem. That's a you problem, <laughs> because hey, if I rush these stats, you're fighting whatever I start. <laughs> so I, I I I want my backup character. If you kill Alchemist, and it's going Rana. to be like, then you want one second. By the um, way, I do want I do want to state this is not my backup character. If Waffleberg dies, that is no teeth. My backup character is no teeth. Oh no! Are you a teeth family member? Uh, I, 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 I'm guessing he's mostly just a parody on the teeths. We we were joking about it, and I'm like, I should actually make a character sheet for this dude. Long and I made a, a fucking alchemist with no teeth, who's a rat man without any teeth. 
So, Rana, if you go to YouTube, because it's not going to... Well, I may be able to do it this way. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on High Noons. <laughs> Dark time. Hey, everybody! Uh, I forgot what the name was already. <laughs> uh, high high tides of rune t of noon terror. That's the one. I don't noon know where God came from. Oh yeah, no, don't uh, tell us that. Bye.